I wanted to say artificial intelligence is coming for all your jobs. So what? <laughs> Lately, I feel there's more um, uh, fear about artificial intelligence or AI uh, that will replace your jobs, all of our jobs, in a very, very, um, uh, very, very soon. And will eventually lead to a global mass unemployment. I was wondering, where does this fear come from? Is it the media that tells us almost on a daily basis how many jobs have already been lost or are going to disappear because of robots are coming? Some numbers say 50% will be gone by 2030. Other numbers say 20 million jobs will be lost in manufacturing only. Or is it more because we read news uh, about artificial intelligence systems. Systems that develop quite, quite fast and are really, really good already. Did it all start in 2016 when AlphaGo, a system, an AI system, almost entirely by itself learned how to play the complex game of Go and beat one of the best players, Lisa Doll, in a match 4 to 1? I wanted to know from you right now. Who thinks most of our jobs will be gone within the next 20 years? Some. Who thinks most of our jobs will be gone within the next 50 years? Less? More? Okay. So I see a lot of job pessimists, also a lot of job optimists. I'm more on the job optimistic side, and here is why I am on the job optimistic side. We're currently in the fourth industrial revolution. So there were obviously three industrial revolutions already. The first and the second focus more on steam and electricity. So it replaced kind of human muscle power. The third industrial revolution was about computers and it was about automation. It further replaced muscle powers, but also started to replace human brain power. So jobs have come and gone through all, throughout all these industrial revolutions. My grandfather, he was a shoemaker. He didn't make shoes, he repaired shoes. That was the job of a shoemaker. So he didn't only sold shoes, he repaired the shoes. Today, this job is almost entirely gone. In some areas of the world, you cannot find someone who repairs your shoes anymore. Here in Malaysia, it's, it was great to see some people at the roadside still repair your shoes, but I believe that is the last generation who really does that. The next generation, they will, this job will be not there anymore. Who remembers the milkman? The guys in the lorry who brought the milk to your doorstep? I don't think that exists today anymore. Or elevator operators, um, phone operators, jobs that don't exist uh, today anymore. Um, there was a job what's called the lamp lighter. That was a long time ago. The guys who lit the candles in the street lights, so there was light in ni at the night time. With the electricity invented and also the light bulbs invented by Thomas Edison, this job has become entirely obsolete. And some jobs, that is also interesting, just have a different meaning today. For example, hackers. At the time, these were the guys who went to the forest with the axe to cut trees. Well, we know what hackers are doing today. So, um, jobs have gone, jobs were created also. For me, the more relevant question today is how fast some jobs will disappear. So, let's have a look at some of these jobs. Um, librarians or cashiers. What do you think, how long these jobs will still exist? There are some shops already where we can self-check out. I don't think they will last long in the future. And every debate that we have, of course, the taxi drivers should not be missing. The taxi drivers first had some challenges with other e-hailing services like Grab, Uber, Lyft. But once we have self-driving autonomous cars, who will need a, a taxi driver then? And recently, I come up uh, also an interesting job, a sports referee. 
we have more and more video assistant referees in the games. If you look at tennis, there is a Hawkeye since many years existing already. I was wondering why would we still need a human referee? The Hawkeye is far more accurate and would make the, the game for both players far more fair. But I think enough now for the negativity and all the jobs that are gone. I think we should look uh, at the other side too. So, how many jobs have been created with every industrial revolution? The third one, the computers have come, so a lot of jobs were created. Basically, millions and millions of jobs have been created. Before the computers and the internet was there, no one needed a web designer. Well, no one needed a service desk agent or a server administrator or a data center specialist. No one needed a mobile app developer. A lot of jobs have been uh, created. And if I think about how many jobs have just been created recently also, that is very impressive. Digital marketing specialist, for example, we didn't have those jobs so long time ago. Or data analysts, data scientists, data engineers, maybe over the last five years. <clears throat> and also very interesting, drone pilots. Yeah, there is commercial drone pilots nowadays uh, that help in the urban regions, for example, to fertilize the fields. That is very interesting. But as I mentioned before, the question today is more like, how sustainable are these jobs? For drone pilots, I personally think, maybe not lasting very long. Soon there will be fully automated self-flying self drones around then they will take again the job of the commercial drone pilots. Some uh, studies say that 85% of the jobs of the 21st century have not even been discovered yet. That is highly interesting. What are those jobs that do not exist yet? Maybe a 3D food printing engineer? Or maybe soon we need a human technology integration specialist. How about we need some space pilots? I mean, there's some ideas to have uh, people flying to the Mars. Maybe it's good to have like human pilots that are in the space at that time. And for sure, also very interesting, alternative um, energy consultants or developers. Maybe some energies have not even been discovered yet. Someone needs to discover those, and someone needs to consult how and when to use those. So you see, quite positive on this area, a lot of jobs will, will be coming, but all of them have something in common. We need certain skills. And when we figure out or we think about which skills are we really needing, uh, needing in the future, well, it is human skills. We should focus on skills that artificial intelligence or robots cannot learn so fast, not so quickly, not in the near future at least. What are those, what are those skills? Mm, let's say complex problem solving. That's already interesting. We need interdisciplinary knowledge, critical thinking, curiosity, everything that helps us to be more innovative in the end. And also we should not forget all the people's skills, especially leadership skills. So, uh, jobs have come, jobs have gone. It will be the same in the future too. Every industrial revolution in the end, and that's what we should not forget, help to improve our lives, help to improve the life of humans, made our life work balance a little bit better, and in most cases, even made our jobs a little bit safer. I'm convinced AI can do the very same to us. It will help to improve our work-life balance, and I'm, I'm happy to see that it will also um, help to shorten our, our working time. So we have to work less, less hours and less days. So let's stay focused, let's learn, let's keep on learning, let's keep on learning the skills that we need and gather knowledge that we need to fight against that. In the end, AI can help us to have a better life. Therefore, 
embrace AI and don't fear the Terminator. Thank you very much.